Hey guys, welcome to Thursday for 16 prefixes day four. Um, you should have finished your warm up, remembering that affixes are our building blocks, our puzzle pieces, and that prefixes attach to the beginning of words. AIM Kipsters will be able to define and identify prefixes to understand words they read. Um, review of the prefixes at this point A, A, B, A, V, S, meaning from or away. A, A, C, A, D, meaning to, toward, or near. Anti, meaning against, opposite of. B, I, B, I, S, D, I, meaning to or twice. Circum, meaning around or about. Com or con, together or with. D, E, meaning reduce away, down, or remove. D I S D I F D I meaning apart or away. D Y S meaning abnormal or bad. Epi meaning on, upon, over, or at. Equi meaning equal or equally. E X E meaning from or out. Hyper meaning too much, excessive, or beyond. Hypo meaning under or below. I-N, I-M, meaning not. An inter, meaning between or among or across. An intra, meaning within or inside. My example for today, which set of words all contain a prefix meaning around or about? So D-Y-S, or, or answer choice A, dystopia has D-Y-S, dysfunctional D-Y-S, dyslexia D-Y-S. So the common prefix there is DYS. If we look back at our notes, DYS meanings abnormal or bad, so we can eliminate A. Uh, B, circumnavigate, circumference, circumvent. They all have C-I-R-C-U-M, uh, C -I -R -C -U -M, circum. Um, and if we look back in our notes, um, I always think of that prefix and remember circle, um, which is around or about and so that does meet that meaning but let's check c and d and hold on to b um c commemorate concur contemporary so c-o-m c-o-n going back in your notes means together or with so we can eliminate it because we're looking for around or about and that means together or with and so we can eliminate c and then d antibodies antibiotics antiseptic anti meaning not or never and so we can eliminate D. Last and the only answer choice we're left with is B, like we suspected. Go ahead and select that one so you get that easy point. You can then go on and do the four vocabulary practice that comes after that. Um, and then you have a new passage, The Lion in Love, one paragraph, and you have three questions to go with it in your Lexia practice for today. If you have any questions, please reach out. I really hope at this point that the forms are making life easier for all of us. If they're not, I'm going to be looking for your feedback at the end of the week to make, possibly make a switch back in the coming week. Um, but we will figure that out and tackle it together. Um, have a great day, guys. Be safe. Reach out to me if you need anything. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me.